Hi, and welcome back to Idioms in Your Inbox. Today's expression is on the same page or to be on the same page. And do you know what this one means? Well, I hear it all the time. So let's dive in with an example. Before we make any final decisions about the budget, let's make sure we're all on the same page, okay? Let's discuss. So to be on the same page means to be in agreement about something. And now we use it when we want to make sure that others are thinking in a similar manner about really any given topic. And if they're not, that opens up things for discussion, right? So as you might imagine, this idiom is common in any type of collaborative environment, any place where it's helpful if people on a team have similar intentions and goals, classroom, office, family. So how do we use this expression, you might be asking? Well, first I want to clarify that this idiom is always used with the preposition on, right? Because we say something's on the page. Something is on page 65 of a book. In fact, the expression we think comes from choirs and choral singing. In that case, it's very important that everyone singing be on the same page or sheet of music, right? Or it wouldn't sound very good. Now, in terms of the verb, we always use the verb to be with this expression, right? To be on the same page is what we say. So some examples could be a question. Are we on the same page? I'm so glad that we are on the same page. They aren't on the same page. I wish they were. We could also use it just like any verb in the past tense. So I could say at yesterday's strategy meeting, some people were on the same page, others were not. And thus we didn't come to any final conclusions or decisions. So the next time you want to check in with someone to see if you are in agreement or not about a topic, why don't you try this expression out and ask them, hey, are we on the same page?